Welcome to Tomahawk DIY everyone. Today we're going to take a look at cleaning a Maytag Quiet Series 300 dish, dishwasher. Uh, this used to be a great dishwasher at cleaning and it struggled a bit lately. So we're going to take the bottom apart um, down below here and clean out some of the filters and uh, different assemblies that get built up in gunk over the years so that uh, we can hopefully have this thing cleaning good as new again. To remove your upper basket, there's some tabs on each side here. Push in, you slide out this locking, um, this locking device, and that'll let you get this upper basket out. So you've got a little more room to get in the dishwasher and work. All right, to get this wand off, or to get this spinner off, you need to undo this little nut here. That can be a little bit tricky, but some pliers uh, should allow you to get it loosened so you can pull it off by hand. And once you pull it off, you can then run some water through this to uh, clean things out. There's also some clips right here that you can get, uh, get popped off with a screwdriver. Be careful not to break them. That'll allow this whole assembly to come apart so you can clean out any plugged holes. All right, so in here there's a number of screws and they use a star screw head. And there's three of there's three of these screws here, here, and here. So let's get that panel off. To get this piece out here, there's some clips. One right back here. One deal. And one up here on the top. So we're gonna clip those, and that's gonna allow it back here to slide out. Now in our dishwasher, let's see what kind of gunk we've got, all sorts of buildup in here. All right, to get the inner assembly out here, again, you need your star-headed screwdriver, and there's six bolts around like this. All right, so the next thing we need to do is take off this wheel right here. So again, it's still using a star head. Um, it's actually a smaller one. And now what we're gonna find under here is where we really need to do some cleaning. All right, now there's a trick here, depending on how much gunk you have, there's a couple of screws that could be covered up and concealed on each side. So you wanna undo those um, and you may have to clean off some of this buildup in order to reach them. Now with this whole assembly off, now we can get in and back flush to clean out all the buildup that's occurred in here and obviously get in there and clean everything out. Now to get this cleaned out from all this gunk, um, you got a bunch of water in here to get rid of. One easy way is just to use a sponge and soak it up and then squeeze the sponge into a bowl or pan um, so you can get everything cleaned. So in your kitchen sink, you can get a little scrub brush and clean off all the buildup and deposits that have gotten gunked up in your dishwasher. And one of the biggest and most important things to help clean, inside this mesh, there's a lot of buildup, right? This is catching all the gunk from food and things on your dishes that get cleaned off your dishes. And uh, some of it doesn't go out in the drain, it gets built up in this, uh, this strainer. So if you run the water through the strainer, um, it'll start pushing junk out here. So you wanna get this thing cleaned nice and good, and uh, then we'll go ahead and reassemble the dishwasher. All right, with this thing all cleaned out, and cleaned up, we're going to put it back on. Now, the trick with alignment, remember there are eight different screws that go in here, and these two align with the countersunk. The ones on here are going to have this face into the back, and that piece going over the red there in the back. So, you should be able to 
get it on and you can check your alignment when you can see that all the screw holes are lining up. And with that, we'll get these screws put back into place. This wheel back on now. You have to get it lined up uh, just right. There you go. Here, click down. All right, remember you gotta use two hands so you can tighten this down. With that back on, we're ready to put these six bolts in with this housing. And we're just putting them in just enough so that we get them all positioned before tightening them down. Make sure they're all lined up and then we'll get them all tight. Alright, now we can put this assembly back on. We've got three holes here. Remember the three long screws? Those are securing everything down, holding the gasket around the motor tight. Um, so it's important to get this one on good and tight. Okay, then we can put our wand assembly back in. Slide it in through the back side here. And then clip it in place. All right, we're gonna put the wand back on. Remember there's this little screw, we use some pliers to help, or this little bolt, plastic bolt, take it off. So get that tightened on, it should be good, thumb tight. All right, everyone, thanks for watching Tomahawk DIY. We're gonna get this cart back in, the tray back in, and now we've, you've seen how to go about cleaning this Maytag dishwasher um, to get it cleaning better. Remember how nice it cleaned when it was brand new? Well, who knew you had to clean out the clean out the dishwasher every once in a while because it does get built up and uh, clogged and things just aren't cleaning as good as it used to. So it's not too hard to get in and clean it up. Um, and now you've seen how to do it. Thanks for watching Tomac DIY. Like the video, leave some comments, and have a great day.